안녕 친구. Tonight we're taking a red eye flight to South Korea from Singapore. For the first time in my life, we're going to be taking business class. We're going to check out the lounge. We only have um, about 30 minutes to enjoy it. Asiana Airlines gave me a lounge pass at the check-in counter. On the back, it had a map. There were separate entrances for the first class and business class. It seemed they all led to the same place though. I had expected only about 20 people at most, but there must have been a hundred or more passengers. Little did I know there'd be a buffet in the lounge, so I made the mistake of eating a filling dinner beforehand. Ah, the variety of food, from stir-fried gourd, to steamed pumpkin, to braised lamb ragu and chicken tikka. Mmm, -hmm. is this fork trying to flick me off? I was assuming the lounge was close to my gate, but it's actually a 7 to 10 minute walk to B7 from the Chris Flyer Lounge. So I'm in a bit of a rush because we already started to board. Holy moly, look at all this leg room! Then the flight attendant kindly took my winter coat. It's been a warm and humid afternoon in Singapore, but now it rains. Before anything else, let's get comfortable and change in our slippers. Ooh la la, a tray of champagne arrives. I opt for the glass of soju. JK, it's water. Maybe. As our plane gets ready for takeoff, I wonder when I'll visit Singapore again. Every time I return, I come as a different version of myself. Depending on the phase in my life, I perceive this island country in another way. Much like how an object is lit from the bottom versus the top, then from the side, the object itself may remain the same, but you see different qualities of it. What sort of gadgets is this business class seat equipped with? A remote control, buttons to recline the seat, outlets, and a USB port. Foldable seat pillows make a huge difference in the quality of your sleep. They reduce strain on your neck. Be sure to recline your seat to savor the foldable pillow to the fullest. As the footrest rotates, it makes the sound of a typewriter. It seems that lifting the feet up before pressing the button reduces the racket. This is obviously a very attractive angle of my face. Though I don't mind enough to edit it out. Down we go! I'm not a tall person, but I became an accordion. At first, I was worried my seat will recline into the passenger space behind me. Turns out, you recline within your own pod. So many arrows! These help customize the curves to your body. Since this was an all-night flight, I assumed we would not be fed. But lo and behold, we were handed a menu. For supper, we had the option to go Western or Korean. Wine, wine, and more wine. I'm guessing this pops up into a tray. Whew! Heavier than expected! There we go! Shall we set up for tea time? Thankfully, there are caffeine-free options. I ordered insam cha, ginseng tea. Ooh! Should have waited a couple minutes before the first sip. Check out this paper doily. Haven't encountered one of these in ages. As our appetizer, we have stuffed cucumber with beef and egg, which was crunchy in a refreshing way. As we wait for our entree, let's pet our velvet coaster that was served with our glass of water. Hello there, Pipimpap! Whenever I fly Asiana, I tend to get this dish. Accompanying the star of the show is a bowl of soup, napa cabbage kimchi, quail eggs, gochujang, and a bowl of white rice. In you go, packet of sesame oil! Introducing the metal spoon and metal chopsticks. Typically in bibimbap, you'd mix your ingredients with rice and gochujang. I decide to focus on the veggies. Mm -hmm. Whoopsies! Things that happen when you vlog while eating. Sleepy, I close my eyes while chewing. S A L why? R U B B E R Y. Time for some traditional Korean confections. Not too long after, the lights were dimmed. Bathroom break from paper cups to hand lotion to toner. Very nice. Yes, that's a Borat reference. Time to brosse les dents. 
which means brush the teeth in French. One of the few things I can still recall from high school. Cool beans! We also have single use mouthwash. The rest of the flight was mostly dark. After all, it was past midnight. Though my butt fell asleep, I got the best rest on a plane ride ever. At the end of the flight, we were shown stretching tutorials. I can't get over this fuzzy coaster! Just want to keep petting it. Aha! It could be folded into a flower. I just realized I have a reading light. Annyeonghaseyo, Korea! Good to see you again. We arrived at 6.14 a.m. In Singapore, it was one hour behind. The flight attendant brought my coat before landing. You know you're in Korea when quesalubs are pasted all over the walls. Eye candies galore. What's in store for our trip? Stay tuned to find out. See you next week on my two channels, Sweet and Tasty TV and Miss Mina. Annyeong!